the leader of opposition Mukul Sangma lashed out at the state government over the current situation. In a sensational claim, Mukul Sangma said that cadres of the disbanded NDFB are active in parts of Garo Hills and Khasi Hills region. But today, unfortunately, NDFB is moving around in Garo Hills, okay, and also West Khasi Hills. And some of the boys are following them with guns, sophisticated guns. What does it indicate? So all this 2018 till now, how many years? Destruction is easier than building a nation, friends. That's why government of the day should wake up and get rid of this chalta hai attitude. Well, Mughal Sangma further added that he has been cautioning the state government ever since 2019, but to no avail. Details of the background, I don't have. The government should have. But the fact is that I have been warning the government. I've been pressing the alarm bell since 2019. Since 2019. That there is a reason for government to wake up from deep slumber. And they were making joke out of that. You have heard them. You have heard them inside the house. You have seen them trying to aggressively engage in, uh, you know, pro their aggressive that social media campaign to counter these facts which were shared to draw the attention of the government. If you have heard me well yesterday, didn't I say, even earlier before uh, your, um, that one of the Ulfa leader, Drishti Rajkova before he surrendered in South Garo Hills. Didn't I this say the same thing in the August House, preceding the news of his surrendering? That means what is happening on the ground zero, we know. Why is it that the government doesn't know? Because the priority of the government is something else. We can easily conclude beyond reasonable doubt that the priority of the government, priority of the chief minister is not the priority which revolves around the interests of the people which revolves around the larger interests of the state. Rather, it is on the contrary. Their priority and their focus is something which has landed up the state in this kind of precarious situation where the youth, our dear young men and women, are not seeing any sign, any ray of hope. In absence of any visible spaces of opportunities for Livelihood. Well, Sangma further alleged that the current situation of hopelessness is driving the youth towards insurgency. For career building, for entrepreneurship, for job. And this is precisely the main catalyst which is ultimately infusing the sense of frustration, lack of hope, and thereby creating a very fertile ground for militants to regroup and other forces to take advantage of this. That's why it's high time. We cannot wait. We are already late. And government should wake up, and then government refuses to wake up.